What's happening guys? Today we're going to talk about Discovery Optics. In particular, the VTT optics that Discovery has just come out with. I have always been a proponent of Discovery Optics because of the value you get for the money you spend. Quality made, heavy, great clear optics, good coatings. There's just nothing bad to say about them. The only thing that I think if you could say anything negative is they're a little heavy, but they're built like a tank. If you look at some of this testing footage, the way they hammer these things and abuse them for testing, it's insane. I'm surprised lenses don't pop out of these things. So in this section I sped it up a bit so it sounds kind of funny, but this guy just busted that table up by bashing the scope down on the table. And when he throws it in this fixture, you'll notice the crosshairs still line up. Absolutely insane. It's crazy. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to mount this thing on my FX Impact and we're going to go through the features of this scope. We're going to cover everything I can with it. These VTT series also come with a camera accessory that hooks to the back of the scope so that you can do scope cam capture. I'm going to also demonstrate that. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this only because you guys have seen some of my videos with scope cam footage and I have a dedicated camera for that. But we are going to show that in this because I think it's kind of cool that they throw that in. It's pretty neat. You get that with the kit. The thing that I really want to stress upon everyone is when you wanted a discovery scope, typically you had to go to Alibaba to get it or AliExpress. So which meant you were dealing with Chinese distributors one on one. That's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that you're going to get ripped off, but a lot of us are really hesitant in doing that when our money goes to a different country we're not even sure if we're going to get the product. That's the first part. The second part is typically it takes weeks before you get your, your stuff. In some cases it'll be a week or so, but in most cases it's a couple of weeks or more. Now there's distributors right here in the United States like Airgun Optics who have these in stock. It's a US based distributor. You're dealing with somebody that's friendly and local and you can get these things in a matter of a couple days. And when you see how clear this thing looks, when I, when I show some of the video footage, you're going to be impressed. Take my word for it. These are worth every penny that you pay for them. And when you start looking at prices of what other scopes can cost you, it's insane. Unbelievable value here. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'll get some video on this thing so you can see how it works. What's in the box? Not What's in the, the box? What's in the box? All right, guys, the contents of the box on the VTT. We have the owner's manual, which goes through all of the goodies, what you should and what you shouldn't do. Pretty standard stuff. Here we have a little chamois so that you can wipe the lenses without destroying them. This is a little coaster they give you with all the stats and specs on it. The printed coaster specs was not correct so I reached out to Charlie Sexton and uh, he le led me to the proper stuff so this is all the proper stuff for that scope these are the rings they give you a set of rings um, you say what you want the uh, either Picatinny or dovetail and what height and those come with it and here we are the actual scope camera assembly this is what would go to the back of the uh, unit like shown here on the back of my impact and that's uh, where your cell phone goes in so that you can film through the scope I will have footage of that this is a trim ring that goes on if you're not going to use the camera and you don't want those threads to show that cap covers it on the back if you don't want to use the camera finishes it off nice nice little touch this is the tube that screws on to the back near the eyepiece that allows the uh, assembly to screw to it like that and now your phone goes into it 
so that uh, it can be on the back of the, uh, the scope itself. Now here's the bad boy out of the box. The plastic bag is pretty nice. It's kind of crinkly. Nice and delicious sounding. They give a little silica gel there. That keeps things nice and dry. And here's the scope. It's got flip-up caps on both ends. It's the plastic kind, so they're not scarring and scratching when they go on. The turrets on the top, as you can see, have a coin, so that you can loosen that with a coin, and you can re-zero on both the elevation and windage. The left side is your uh, parallax adjustment for focus, and the plastic caps just pull straight off. Sorry, I had to pull them out of camera to get uh, proper leverage so that I could loosen them up to slide them off. But they just push on, and they push on pretty tight. Uh, so I'm just pulling them off there. And the cool thing about the, uh, the front objective is it also has a honeycomb sunshade so that you don't get any glare. It's pretty neat. There it is, the VTT 6 to 24, and there's that honeycomb glare shield that I was telling you about that screws right off. And here we'll see the green coating on the lenses. Excellent glass in this thing, ridiculously clear, really, really clear. Look at the size of that thing, 50 mil. That's the eyepiece, very clear. You can also adjust that for your focus to get uh, your crosshairs nice and sharp. Zoom from 6 to 24 nice and stiff nothing's rattling around nothing's loose there's our parallax adjustment goes down to 10 yards so nice and close it actually goes below 10 they say 10 but you can get that thing down to 8 and 7 works really well and there you go guys that's what she looks like coming out of the box now let's show what it looks like looking through it The reticle on the VTT series is quite nice. This thing works on mill dots coming down to 3, 4, 5, and 6. You'll see the strong bar there. The one little line equals 11 because the count stops at 9. Same thing works on the left to right. The numbers stop at 5, but if you count the hashes over, you'll end up with 10 at that marker. In between on these little guys that are really, really hard to see when you're backed all the way out, if you zoom in, each one of these little lines is 0.1 on each. Five of those over would equal 0.5. And obviously, if you go over to the swells that are in between, it's set up for you on the other side as they show over here on the four marker. That would be one quarter to the first swell. So the 0.1s, there's the 0.25, and then that would be the halves in between. Very, very nice, very fine and very delicious. You'll see that in the uh, scope cam that's coming up next. And here we have video footage through the scope using their scope cam adapter. Those targets are 42 yards away and I'm going to slowly zoom in so you can see the first focal plane at work. If you notice the crosshairs are getting larger as the target gets larger and then I'll hold it still so you can appreciate it. That is a very clear image. Very clear. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the furthest target away. That's about 45 yards out, so that's 6. That would be 8 magnification. That would be 10 magnification. 12. 14. 16, 20, and 24 magnification. I'm going to check the focus now so that we can confirm parallax. The parallax shows it at 45. The actual distance is 45 yards. Scored and hit. Nice job. Well guys, my final thoughts. I've owned Discovery Scopes for the last three years. I was pleasantly surprised from the very first time I bought one. These things are quality made products. Some of the pluses on this particular scope that we're talking about, which is the VTT 6-24x50. I love the fact that the 
side focus goes down to like eight yards. I like I think that's very important because I do a lot of uh, close target shooting or pesting. Very important. The scope is a mill mill scope. You can zero the turrets. Very important. The eye relief on this thing is outstanding. You can get on target really quickly. It's got a quality crosshair. Very, very fine, but because it's first focal plane, you can zoom in on that thing and get really, really clear with it. I think the glass is exceptionally clear. Uh, there's, It's nitrogen filled, waterproof. It comes with the uh, phone adapter so that you can film through the scope, which I've demonstrated, which I'll be honest with you, really did a great job. You couple all that with the fact that you get a free set of rings with it, and you can order it from Airgun Optics Plus. Airgun Optics Plus, Charlie Sexton is the uh, first guy that I bought these scopes from in the United States. All my others were purchased from China. Same company makes the scope, but you can get it right here in the good old US of A. I can't say enough about this scope, and I can't say enough about Airgun Optics Plus. Great combination. This is a must buy. You guys won't be disappointed in this product. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching my review. Come visit me at HajimotoProductions.com. Or hit me up on Facebook at Hajimoto Productions, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, and you guys shoot safe.